Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play My Life as a Dark Lord. I'm going to be going two stages today, mainly because this stage is so easy. I'm not even going to dignify it by showing you what you have to do really. Four iron balls, two goblins on the bottom one, one goblin on the rest, power them all up. Right, that's the start of the level done. As you go through the level, fill up the floors until they've all got three goblins on each. Level done, level completed. I'll be back when my, I've actually completed the level myself. And I'm back and straight on to the next level. I did lie slightly about the last level. Um, I said you needed four um, iron balls. You don't need four iron balls. You need three iron balls and fill them with goblins still. Um, for this level, you don't need iron ball. Well, I've built iron balls. You don't need goblins. You generally just need news. Lots of news. I've tried quite a few different strategies on this level, trying to find one which worked consistently. Um, from this, there's quite a few red mages at points on this level. and. They attack randomly and do a lot of damage. It can really change what happens in the level. Sometimes you have monsters dying all over the place. Sometimes you have none die. Um, there's nothing which attacks artifacts. You don't need to worry about that. And I found the strategy which consistently works is using groups of free mews. Um, they will die, but most of the enemies on this level you'll be getting 80 or 90 NP for each one you defeat. So you can replace two to three Mews for every enemy you defeat, so not really a problem if a Mew starts dying. We do have a new floor that we can build and I'll be making use of after our fourth enemy appears. Um, for now we just get to watch white mages get beaten up by squirrels. So I put poison harps here because I want them to be travelling up the iron ball floor as well, consistently taking damage. It's not a big issue at the moment, but it makes a difference later on. Um, just saving up MP for the start. Hopefully this time I'll be able to record the video without getting two phone calls from my mum. You think, okay, the recording takes ten minutes, yeah? You'd think she could go... 10 minutes without calling me twice, um, but no, I'm not even sure why she called the second time because there wasn't, didn't say anything important really. Um, it's fine, it's not a problem, I could have edited the video, but um, the fake actually took about 15 minutes the first time and about 10 minutes the second time, and by then I kind of lost where I was on the level, I built my slowing floors in the wrong places. I didn't place them when I should have done, I generally got in a mess and all the entrances got bunched up and I, they just climbed the floor at a stupid rate and my tower got destroyed so yeah. That's our new floor, the slow clock. In case you can't guess from the name, it puts a slow effect on and it also supports one monster so I'm using new. Mews attack a lot, so obviously that's going to slow the enemies down even more. So they're quite a good floor for slowing the enemies down. So you can kind of guess from the name, this is what they're intended on doing. Slowed enemies take, I think it's about time and a half on the floor they're on. And they attack half as fast. So even though it almost kills a Mew in one hit, it doesn't get a chance to attack again, so it's not an issue, I don't even need to replace a Mew. Otherwise, it's just a case of watching the other ones. They're going to go up the tower much faster. Uh, what am I trying to summon? Place for all. A couple of puppet shows to split up these red mages a bit as well. Um, basically, you just don't want everything coming in the horde. Later on in the level, having all these slowing floors is kind of a bit of a nuisance, but. You do really need it for this part of the level, so they're built, and that's fine. 
finally that addict died. It's taken forever. Just wait for this LA to move along. And now we'll build another slow floor. Slow clock in. And summon some mews. Or a mew. Or an emu. Yeah, or summon an emu. There's nothing you want more than an evil bird. Also, can you start on fun stands at the top because mm, the gladiators are anything likely to reach the top of the tower, and if they do, the fun stands will do a lot of damage. So, uh, preparation is half the battle. It's just about 90% of the battle in this game. Because that melee died, so as you can see, I got 80 MP for that. So if I go on the right menu, I can build a couple of views. Um, I have map. It's probably not going to go out to that floor, but just in case. You know, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt me. It hurts them. You know. I'm pretty sure death by rabbits get the squirrels isn't a particularly painless way to go. But it does bother me. We're supposed to be evil here. We're supposed to be nice and give them painless steps. Oh come on, someone died. I need to replace all those dead mews. Oh, I didn't upgrade those mews to level 3. That's probably why one died there. 